Hey everyone, let's play some games today. We're playing the Temple Warrior, and well, it's still going very well. I've been winning a lot. Almost the only losses I've had this season was in yesterday's video. It's so weird. I'm just winning, 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 and then I make a video and I lose three games in a row. Hopefully, this video will be different. Alright, so against the rogue, I've seen a couple of Malagos rogues this season, so I kind of suspect that this will also be a Malagos rogue. I've won both of those games, so that's good. We don't exactly have, have anything. So I'm looking for armor smiths, Amanis, maybe even frothing Berserker since I do have the coin. Mm. Yeah, I'm not not really pleased with this. Okay, let's toss all of it. Because I, they're not really that useful versus a Malika's Rogue, those cards. At least not, like, early on. Later on, sure. Okay, so we did get an Amani. No other two drops, so I'll probably save the coin for Death's Bite. Let's just end turn here. Hope he doesn't have a, an early deadly poison to kill that Amani on turn 3. All right. So, let's play this. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Yeah, there we go. I'll see what happens here. I don't, I'm not too impressed with my hand here. Like, I don't have any other photos than the Spellbreaker either. Death spite just to hit the face. Ah, she got the deadly poison. Not brilliant. Because if I play the death spite here, like what am I gonna do next turn? But if I don't, I just feel like I'm so far behind in tempo. Oh. Um. Like the only thing I have is Cruel Taskmaster and Spellbreaker. Not impressive. You know what? I think I'm just gonna arm up here. And maybe if I had an Acolyte in hand, if I had an Acolyte in hand, I would have played Death Spite here. But or if I had like a Yeti or something. No, actually, then I would have played the Yeti. Uh, of course, now I kind of wish I had played Death Spite. Oh boy. Okay, let's see. We do have Whirlwind, so I'm actually not too scared of a whole bunch of 1-1s. So maybe we will just... Um... Oh, we still need to kill that next turn. I could also kill it this turn by Whirlwinding, but I don't really feel like that's worth it. Let's just... hit it once, because then it'll die to the death rattle next turn. Not a brilliant start! It's just something about me and videos this season. Well, the first video went pretty well, but... Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, then everything is fine. I kind of want to play the cool Taskmaster here, but then just to keep my axe around. But then at the same time, then I can't play a Sludge Belcher. Maybe just hit the face, play a Sludge Belcher. I could even like Whirlwind Sludge Belcher, but I feel like that's probably another Violet Teacher in the deck, so it's nice to keep the Whirlwinds around. But then I still still have another one. Uh, ah, let's just do... But this would also be good to kill, like, an auctioneer, and I don't really have anything else to do that with. What if I just do... Ah, it's just so wonky. That's really wonky. Okay, you know what, I can also armor up, so it's actually fine. And we keep the weapon around, so you have something just in case, like, there's no other way to kill an auction yet, and I can do it that way. I mean, I would have to spell breaker for it, but overall, this game is just okay. Well, it looks like we both have very weird hands, so at least there's that. 
I think I'll just play the Yeti and I'm up here. I could have played the Sludge Belcher, but the Yeti has more offensive damage, like attack, and I'm not really, I don't really need a taunt right now. And then I can also armor up. So I like the Yeti here. Alright. This is a weird game. I mean, it looks like we're both just having terrible hands, not really able to do much of anything. So she did have a Violet Teacher that lessens the chance of her also running Nalligas, but... Oh, does it? Actually, I'm not the, like all up-to-date with the newest uh, Malikas Rogue deck. So I don't really know for sure. Plus, it's the newest season, you never know what can happen to those. Alright, so I think we just play Sludge Belcher, Armor Up. I feel like we haven't really applied enough pressure here, though, if it's a Malikas Rogue. But... I haven't really had the opportunity, so... Would be nice if we could get Gromash. We have like a million activators for him. Well, we have three. <laughs> but that's enough. I see. Okay, I'll move that. Not too scary. In fact, that's not scary at all. I can just kill it. Um, and I can play the Acolyte together here. Alright, so we do... This... Kill that. Would have been nice with an armor smith too. It's still nice laid up because I do have the two whirlwinds. Frauding Circa. Maybe frauding an armor up. I like the whole armor ring up thing. And I like frauding when I have a whirlwind around. So, do that. Yeah, armor smith would be really nice. Because I'm just scared of some huge double Sinister Strike burst with Malagas. Something like that. Oh, of course, Gromash would be nice. Hmm, if she just passes here, I can buff the Flooding Berserker to 10 attack with double whirlwind. Wow, she still has 8 mana though, uh, 4 mana, so it's kind of doubtful that she'll just pass now. Alright, Sinister Strike. Honestly, I'll take that trade. Oh, that's the other Sinister Strike. Okay, so... That's a lot less burst that she can have. She could still possibly have two Sinister Strikes, but... That does make it feel a little more safe. I wish I had an Execute. I need to get rid of that. I could actually kill it, but... Well, actually, I guess I could just Whirlwind and run those two into it. You know what, that might actually be alright. Let's just Whirlwind here. And, uh, see what we... Oh, wait. I would have to double Whirlwind. <laughs> what am I thinking? It's because I was thinking like 2 damage Whirlwind put the acid deck, but that would also have killed those. I was like mixing things together. I think the Whirlwind was fine though. Um, I do need to kill it. I cannot just let it stay there. Where is my Execute? Bring the pain. Do I play the just to see what I draw here? Taskmaster, okay, then I can kill it. Uh, and, uh, let's do this, draw another card. Oh, that's Gromash, okay. Play that, that. Armor up. Why did I? Oh, maybe I should play that. I should play that money instead. I'm just getting kind of like nervous about like just armoring up all the time, especially now that I have Gromash because I feel like now I actually have some burst, so I just need to survive to actually be able to apply it. Ah, uh, let's see. That's ten. That's sixteen. Right. If she plays Malikas now, I have to spell break it. Obviously, spell break Sludge Belcher probably. And go for the face with those two, and then go for kill the turn after with Gromash. Okay, it looks like no Malagas. And the funny thing is, I don't even know if she has Malagas, it's just I've seen it quite a bit lately, so... I 
think it was definitely right to use the coin last turn, but I should probably play that money instead of armoring. But I don't mind too much. She hasn't played any auctioneers yet. That's a little crazy. Oh wow, <laughs> he was he went clear. I don't have an. Oh no. Well, huh? That's not great. I was gonna silence and then stop feeding Kodo. Hmm. Okay. Well, I think we just have to do this instead. The thing is, sap. But I mean, that's ten damage. I'm still at twenty-eight. So I'm fine. I guess the positive is we got. I can see a lot of the. Oh no, that's the auctioneer. And the sap, of course. I expected the sap, but. I mean. What should I have done instead? I guess I could have played. Nah, Gromash for 4 damage and then it just dies to the Vent Cleave next turn. That's not super appealing. Well, I suppose I could have done Gromash and Whirlwind. Huh. Maybe I should have done that. Let's see, eight cards left. Not close to fatigue yet, unfortunately. <laughs> this guy's tough. Wow. This is not good. I need an execute. Okay, an execute. That helps. So, uh, how do I do it? I can spell break that, execute that, and that's. But then I also need to whirlwind, so that's six mana. And I have four mana left. Uh, let's see. I could also. I'm getting so low on life. I'm thinking, like, I could. Gromas, whirlwind. No, promise that. Um, so low on life. That's not good. I've had two executes. Was this something here? Um. Your magic shall not save you. If it, okay. What if I spell break? Then I can't whirlwind and execute this 11 mana. Now I wish I still had the coin. So just. Try to do that. Whirlwind. Execute. I'm up. Mm. Not feeling good about this. Definitely not. But it's not hopeless. I mean, she's still 11 damage away from lethal. I don't have an activator for Gromage anymore either, which is a bit of a bummer, but let's see here. I'm just. So many. Other... It doesn't look like a Malikas Rogue anymore, though. It just looks like regular new school miracle. At least she doesn't have very many cards, and she is getting closer and closer to that fatigue range, but it could also mean that she has like a South Sea deck hand and stuff. But she already used one cold blood at least, right? Did she use another one? Yeah. She used both eviscerates. That's good. But she probably has another sap too. Oh, that's so bad. Like, it's like, oh, sure, I can play a sludge belcher, but what good is that if she has a sap? It's not good at all. Because I can't really do anything else together with that. Uh, she has too much damage. Too much. No. I can play Gromas to kill that. I probably should. 
that's that's seven. I can armor up quickly and armor smith, but armoring up would give him more armor. If I play a sludge belcher, I just get sapped and I die, so that's a bad idea. I feel like the highest chance of survival is if I play Gromash, kill that armor up, and right, she has no more eviscerates, but she probably has one cold blood, which is 11 damage. But then hopefully she doesn't have. Well, that's Leroy. All right, that was a strange game. We both had really, really bad starts. But, um, yeah, it didn't work out. The, the bad luck for videos is striking back. And yeah, I've only played this deck so far this season, but, and I've done so great. Except for last video and, well, this video, but still have some more games we can make up for it for in, in this video, so hopefully next game will be better. Alright, let's see how... Alright, got a Shaman. Nah, not really happy about this hand. Let's toss it all. It was a long game last one. But at least it was interesting. It was a little slow at first, but after that I feel like it's pretty tense. Okay. Hmm. Course the Latin card back. What else? Most people around these ranks are still a previous ex Latin. I was redundant. Previous X. Hmm. Alright, so I can slam that. Um or I can just play that mommy. It's very doubtful that he has two death aluminium. See, what I see happening is that he plays a Haunted Creeper. And then I can run that money into it, slam the Undertaker and Whirlwind. I think that is a very likely outcome. Let's see here. The question is... Oh, lightning bolt. Okay. Well, that's not what I expected. Oh, it's Death Spite. Okay, so then I can kill that next turn anyway. I don't really feel like using a slam on it. Because one of the problems versus shamans is that shamans can outlast you, so I don't want to be too uh, crazy with my cards. Especially, like, maybe if I could like establish an early presence, but I would just kind of evening even it out, and I have the Death Spite to kill the Undertaker next turn anyway. Alright, okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's totally fine. So we played Death Spite here. We still have 29 life. No worries. No worries. So we do this. Let's see what we have next. God. Okay, another one. Um, let's see. I could slam that and play the acrylite. That seems reasonable. I, I'm still not getting at the tempo advantage, but. I'm doing... I would get the card advantage. Let's uh, slam first. And just play this. There we go. It's too bad I can't also play a whirlwind here, but can't have it all. Okay. Yeah, I have a decent little card advantage here. I have some reasonable cards in hand also. Like, he hasn't played his two uh, Feral Spirits yet, so... It's nice to have the Black Knight with that. There are not that many good targets for Black Knight and Shaman, but Feral Spirit, that's perfectly acceptable. Okay, so let's see here. Hmm. 
I think I might just play Yeti and the Fire V. Yeah, okay. So we do that. That killed the two more. Losing some life here, but we do have an armor smith, so not too concerned about that. Plus, yeah, not too concerned. Things get crazy, we can set up for an armor smith whirlwind. Huh, I wish I had played Death Spite Armor Smith instead, but then maybe he wouldn't have played Lofa because, well, I would have been able to kill it, so. So who knows? Uh, let's see. Do I play here? What now? I could play as a Drake, um, armor smith. But as a Drake, armor up actually, I think, because then if he kills either my Yeti or the as a Drake, I can finish it up with a whirlwind next turn. Acolyte. Yeah, well, that works pretty well with the whole whirlwind thing. Then the question is, how do I think I kill the spell power to them? I just don't like spell power to them, you know? They're dangerous. Alright, then let's head turn him. See what he does. Keeping the card adventures alive. What would be really scary here? Fire Elemental? Not too scary, thankfully. Um, I don't really know. Nothing... I can't imagine anything too bad. Let's see, an Acid Drake. Acid Drake Lightning Bolt on the Acid Drake. That would probably hurt the most. But then again, that wouldn't even... Like, if I play a Whirlwind next turn, I can clear the board, like, also by attacking with my weapon into the Acid Drake. So... What else do you have? Do you have that lightning bolt? Alright. No. Okay. Hmm. Would be nice to open that up before I do the whole whirlwind thing. But there is the concern of the acid drake. Because I also kind of want to attack the as a trick. Uh, right, okay, so I can do... Uh, also, I'm going to do 2 damage with the whirlwind. That's a little overkill, but... The as a trick will survive. What if I do... What if I play the armor smith? Oh, it's it's going to take 2 damage. But I will get a... Get 3 armor... No, I'll get 4 because I'll also get from attacking in here. But then it'll be so weak to Lightning Storm that she hasn't played yet. Um, right. I don't... If it was a... Uh, 1 damage whirlwind. Let's just do this. I'll see what you draw here. Just do this. I just don't want to lose the board to Lightning Storm. And if he does Lightning Storm here, then I will get those, that free armor that I wouldn't have gotten last time. Oh, let's see. Right, okay. Ah, don't hit, don't hit four on the armor smith. That would make me so sad. Oh, that's not fair. Like, I did... I I predicted the lightning storm and everything, and then he just got the rat of air that he needed. That's not cool, man. That's not cool. Do I go for the face? Nah, let's kill that totem. Can't stand them. Might even play Gromash next turn. Yeah. 
Well, let's see what uh, what he does. Still haven't seen any feral spirits, so might see those. Hex well, that makes sense. That makes Bromash a better play than before. Let's see, Sixteen cards. Chances are that he does not have the second hex, but maybe I should just take it nice and easy. Play another slot, but to see if he wants to hex that. Yeah, I like that. And then also, if I do the whole thing, and if he doesn't kill the frauding, it, I can buff it up like crazy next turn. Let's see here. If he has a hex, I think he would use it here on the sludge belcher. So that makes the grommets pretty safe next turn. Lightning storm. Thankfully, he didn't get a spell power totem this time. So I'm happy about that. Oh man, if you got a spell power totem this time and killed the frauding this way, that would have been such sadness. See, this time he actually has to use an extra spell on it. I'm guessing it is. Oh, it is a lightning bolt. Interesting. I don't mind, actually I'm happy to see that, because it was gonna die to the weapon anyway if I was to use that. Hmm. I feel like... <sighs> well, yeah, I should probably take Gromash this turn. Just hope he didn't, like, cheap out on the Hex. I get a pretty good amount of damage in here. Yeah, okay. Let's just do it. Then we do that. And we can clear the board. Put this one into that. There we go. And if he doesn't have that hex, he's in trouble. Let's see. What do you have? Nothing. Alright, that makes up a bit from uh, for last game. Alright, 1-1-1. One, one, one. Two very long games, especially the first one. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!